Hello and welcome to another edition of Market Briefing. I'm Martin Backerdax, European Business Editor here at the IB Times UK. Well, we're looking at another day of gains across the board for European stocks. Not as dramatic as we've seen in the past, but nonetheless churning along nicely. There's a decent amount of economic optimism, of course, and we have two key central bank decisions to look forward to tomorrow from the Bank of England and the European Central Bank. What was curious overnight, of course, was the developments in Japan, where markets there hit a five-year high with respect to the Nikkei 225, and the yen sank to a three-year low against the U.S. dollar. That's actually good news for Japanese exporters, and really does link back to the fact that we saw an early departure for the Bank of Japan governor, Masakai Shirakawa. Now, this suggests that the new Prime Minister, Shinzo Abe, is probably going to get his way with respect to deeper stimulus, faster inflation, and a lot more money printing for the moribund Japanese economy. He wants to get it back on track, get rid of the two decades of deflation, and create jobs. So what we've seen is a massive amount of interest in exactly how that's going to play out for Japanese financial markets. And as I say, a big gain today of around 3.8 percent for the Nikkei 225. Here in the United Kingdom, we're looking at RBS quite closely. We had anticipated today would be the day that the bank will announce its LIBOR manipulation-related fine. The bank sent out a statement earlier this morning saying they're in late-stage negotiations with regulators in the United States and the United Kingdom. They didn't put a price on what they expect to pay, but much press speculation suggests it's going to be around the region of 500 million pounds. That would be the biggest ever for a UK bank and the second biggest ever after the $1.5 billion paid by UBS late last year. HSBC is going to be up against a grilling of UK lawmakers throughout most of the day. Leanna Brinded, my colleague, will be live blogging that, so do check it out on the economy page. And another fascinating story you might want to take a look at is the purchase of Virgin Media by U.S. billionaire John Malone. He, of course, owns Liberty Global. And that $16 billion U.S. dollar deal will add another 316 million pounds to the pile of one of the richest men here in the United Kingdom, shake up the media industry too, and certainly present an enormous challenge for Rupert Murdoch's News Corp and B Sky B, the biggest pay TV operator around Europe. Check out all those stories and more, please, on the IB Times UK economy page. We'll see you tomorrow.